everyone knows this car. It's the Toyota Prius Hybrid, the world's best-selling environmentally friendly car and poster boy for the green vehicle generation. Toyota, however, is developing a new car, which is even cleaner and greener. And it's called, uh, the Prius. But as you can see from those stickers, there's something a little bit different about this car. There's a different name for starters. Toyota calls it the Prius Plug-in Hybrid Vehicle, or in short, Prius PHV. It's being developed for a future rivalry with cars such as the Holden Volt, which in 2012 is due to go on sale in Australia. That means at this stage, we're driving only a rare prototype based on the current generation Prius. So inside is all very familiar with the current generation Prius, including the energy monitor system that allows you to play that clever little game where you see what the drivetrain is doing. Is it the electric motor only, the petrol engine only, or a combination of both? Instead of the conventional Prius's single battery pack, however, the plug-in version uses two. And so there are major differences between the way the two Priuses drive. With the plug-in Prius, for instance, you can go up to 100 km an hour just in electric mode. Now, with the regular Prius, you can only get up to about 20 km an hour, and even then you have to use a very light throttle if you don't want to engage the petrol engine. The faster you go, however, the quicker you'll deplete the batteries. Yet even with a slow coach approach, this plug-in prototype will run in all electric mode for only 10 km. After that, the plug-in drives just like a regular Prius hybrid, until you have a chance to recharge the car, which you do by literally plugging it into your conventional household power socket. About four hours later, you can be on your way again for another stint of feel-good, zero-emissions motoring. The company will put 500 Prius plug-ins on the road from late 2009, as part of a trial for fleet lease customers only which means it's still going to be a few years before you'll be able to buy a plug-in Prius, which is likely to cost about $5,000 more than the regular hybrid. And when you do eventually have a choice, which one are you going to go for? Well, the plug-in Prius would seem to be the logical choice, if you don't mind paying extra to be more environmentally friendly. The plug-in, though, will not be as carbon friendly in the handful of countries where electricity is generated by coal burning. And unfortunately, Australia is among them.